Is it because you want to impress the girls in your class, Jonathan? Be honest. <laughs> like what you tried to did? What? What do you mean? What I tried to do? What? I, what do you? What do you know about what I tried to do? Huh? What do you mean? Hi friends, welcome back to the vlog where I'll walk you through two days in the life of a product marketer spending Chinese New Year in Shanghai, China. The excitement begins on Thursday when I wish my friends and family well with a hilarious pun I totally came up with myself. Happy New Year! Because Niu means ox in Chinese and it sounds very similar to New Year. However, some of my friends are simply not intelligent enough to understand the joke and even had the audacity to reply with an eye roll emoji. It's hard being so smart sometimes. Because of the whole pandemic situation, I'm not able to see my family in person this year, so we settle for a video call. I scheduled the call for 3 p.m. sharp, and being the detail-oriented Google product marketer that I am, I of course send confirmation and reminder messages to ensure we have a punctual and productive call. On an unrelated note, it is mind-blowing how an easygoing person like myself is still single. Do you miss me? Wow! Is it because you want to impress the girls in your class, Jonathan? Be honest. <laughs> like what you tried to do? What? What do you mean? What I tried to do? What? I, what do you? What do you know about what I tried to do? Huh? What do you mean? As you can see, my younger brother has an even cheekier personality than I do, so my parents have had a very rough life. And yes, for those of you wondering, my brother and I have the same parents, even though our age gap is huge. And yes, he looks very cute because obviously. He takes after me. Later on that evening, I get ready for a small get together at my friend's house. Apparently, you're supposed to be wearing as much red as possible, but I see that as more of a guideline than a rule. Okay, so it's 9 p.m. Chinese New Year's Eve, and I'm currently on the way to my friend's place. Uh, he and his wife, his wife and him, know that my family are not here this year, so they basically took pity on me and adopted me for the night. I was gonna buy them a nice bottle of red wine as a thank you, but I forgot all the shops are closed today, so I ended up buying them some nice fruit. I saved a lot of money, but I don't think that's the point. It's really about the thought that counts if you think about it, and I'm sure they'll, they'll agree with that. I've known John and his wife Michelle for a while now and they have a super cute kid Zach who I haven't seen in a few months, so I was looking forward to spending some time with them. It turns out I wasn't the only person they adopted that night and while that did make me feel a little less special, we had a blast watching Chun Wan, which is the annual spring festival show, and stuffing ourselves with chicken, hot pot, and cake. <laughs> No, no, The next morning, I wake up early to prepare for my first ever sponsorship video on my Red channel, a video app popular with Chinese users. Yes, your boy Jeff is getting a bit of traction in China, and an English education platform reached out for a partnership. And so I spend the morning chatting with a few of the teachers on this English education app to test how user-friendly the experience is, and more importantly, see what kind of value a native English speaker like myself would get from the app. Essentially, I argue that books, apps, and podcasts, they're all just different tools available to you. In order to learn anything effectively, one must start with a clear purpose and the tools are secondary. After taking a quick lunch break, I hop on the couch for a change of scenery and continue writing the script for this video. And it was at this point I realized my initial idea of filming a week in the life was a little too ambitious and so I quickly changed the topic to two days instead. While some may view this as being lazy or ill-prepared, I see it as staying flexible and adapting to new changes, while conveniently also cutting down a workload. All right, so I'm about to head to a house party hosted by my friends Kevin and Henry. If you're wondering why I'm on the floor, it's because I want to say a quick thank you to Allbirds for sending me a pair of shoes to try on. I'm not getting paid to say this. They have no input on my opinion, but dang, these are comfortable. And the fact that they're machine washable too is a game changer. Why am I not being paid to say this? 
As someone who's not very fashionable, I care mainly about comfort and ease of use. This particular pair of shoes check both of those boxes, so I think I will be phasing out my many, many pairs of Stan Smiths moving forward. And apparently, some famous people like Barack Obama are also fans of the shoes. And two people called Larry and Sergey, but I'm not really sure who they are. At the house party, I meet some new people as well as hang out with friends I haven't seen in a while. I recently made the decision to get a six pack by summer, so I stay away from the high calorie drinks and stick with soda water instead. Oh! This actually turned out well since I was able to stay clear headed enough to take some cool party shots and be the unofficial, unpaid photographer for the night. I get back home at around 1 a.m. in the morning, which is way past my usual bedtime at 10.30 p.m. I quickly shower, brush my teeth, and fall onto the bed for some much needed beauty sleep. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.